can use prime factorization to find the highest common factors and the lowest common multiples, even for really large numbers. Before we jump straight in with an example, if you aren't quite sure how to find prime factors or want a factors and multiples recap, watch these two videos first. So let's start with the lowest common multiples. Have a look at these two examples. Can you see what's happening? We take the largest amounts of each number from either list. So we'll take the two to the power of five, the three squared and the five squared. Then multiply these numbers together and you'll get the lowest common multiple. See how we took the largest amounts for 240 and 396? So here's one for you to do. Pause the video, find the lowest common multiple and click play when you're ready. Did you get 240? So now onto the highest common factor. It's a very similar process, but just slightly different. Can you see what's happening? This time, we only take what is common to both lists. So 150 only has one two, so that's all we can take and 96 only has one three. And that's all they have in common. So two multiplied by three is six. And the same with the 240 and the 396. 240 has four twos, whereas 396 only has two twos. So we can only take the two twos and just the one three. So give these questions a go. Remember that for the lowest common multiple, you take the largest amounts from either list. And for the highest common factor, you can only take what's common to both lists. Pause the video, find the highest common factor and lowest common multiple, and click play when you're ready. Did you get them right? So there you have the wonderful world of prime factors to find the HCF and the LCM. It's much faster than having to write out all the factors or a long list of multiples. So it's a good skill to put to memory. If you liked the video, give it a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe. Comment below if you have any questions. Why not check out our Fuseco app as well? Until next time.